So to create a Facebook ads manager, the first thing you need to do is to create a page. Now, the reason I say is, is to create a page is because without a page, what I mean by a page is a business page. All right. Without a page, you will not be able to run Facebook ads. In fact, you will not be able to create an ad account. Let me show you. So if you go to business.facebook.com, you see Facebook says, let's get started with business tools from Meta. Log in with Facebook to use Meta Business Suite or Business Manager. And that is what you need in order to create a Facebook um, Ads Manager or a Meta Ads Manager. So here, if you click on Create, so you see it's asking you now to choose a business name, blah, 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 to create. Now, this is not the, the best way to get started. So the best way to do, right, is to go to your Facebook now, if you don't have a laptop, it's preferable to do this on laptop. But if you don't have a laptop, what you can do, you can create the page on your phone as well, you know, using the Facebook app. Or you can go to um, Chrome browser on your mobile phone, right? Chrome browser on your mobile phone. And then you switch to, if you click on option, you'll be able to see where you can switch to desktop mode. All right. So that way you'll be able to, you know, use this business manager on your mobile. But the best way to go about it is to use a laptop. So now go to pages. If you click on pages here, right, you see it's telling me to discover pages. So if you go to business suit, all right, here it says unable to access business suit with this account. Why? Because this account does not have a page for example it says does not have access to any facebook pages or instagram accounts that can be managed in meta business suits to continue create a facebook page in um, login with instagram or login with another account so here you can say login with instagram or simply create a page but what if you don't want to come here? So I would just I would want to show you now how you can create a page directly. So here you see we have create new page. So I'm showing you the different ways by which you can get started. That is why I am showing you all of this. So click on create page. So here you choose the name of your page. So in this case, I can call the name of my page maybe. So I can call the name of my page um, testing of, let's call it um, grow your business. All right. So this is just an example. Okay. So category, you can decide to choose category. So I can say marketing. So here I'll choose marketing agency. Then bio, it is optional, but it's good if you have them just to optimize your page. So here I just wrote grow your business with digital marketing. And then it says create. Okay, so you click on create page. It is super easy to create a page. Very, very easy. So, right, you see grow your business was created. You can now add images or go to your page to add more details. So I can just click on cancel here and you can see we have different things you can add here. So you can add a website. So here I'll just put my website. I could put, um, you know, any website there, but I, it's better to have a website. So I'll put sholamatthew.com or let me just put another website called rentatic dot com so that is actually a website domain that i have but i haven't worked on it so here you can put your bis your email address your phone number and all of that okay so but for now i'll just choose uh, no hours available okay and just click on next so let's go so here you can choose to add your profile picture or your cover image okay uh we're gonna do this later on so i just click on next and then here you can connect your whatsapp if you have a whatsapp right you can connect it to this but here i'll just click on skip here i can invite my friends to like the page 
so for example if i click on invite i can be able to you know select everyone here or i can just select a few of my friends so click on send invite and that is done and then we we'll click on next so if you want page notifications on your profile you can have this it says don't miss updates about your page uh while you switch to your profile you know shola akinlui and they can also you know give you uh marketing and promotional emails about your page so i'll just click on this i don't want emails because i already have their emails but if you want that you can do that and i don't want this promotional thing because i'm just using this for experiment okay i mean to teach you so it's um you can have this it's better for you to have it but for me i'll just uncheck them i'll click on done so once i click on done it brought me to this page welcome to your new page take a tour so you can take a tour it will show you the different ways to you know use your page say here easily switch between your pages and provide this is where to go quickly get stuff done you can manage your page you can check insights this is where to go explore your page feed so if you click on this home button it's going to show you know the things that you might be interested on uh you might be interested in okay click on done so it said get start go here to start the tour again so if you want to tour again just click on here right and you click on start tour and it will show you again this is the page the page has been created so let's now go to business and see what happens so you see that once we now go to business.facebook.com it now gives us the ability to be able to create a business account in fact the business account has already been created we just need to work on it so it says save time with meta business suit what can you do so these are the different things that you can do all right so you can manage your messages focus on what is working best with detailed insight plan ahead by creating a content calendar reach more people with advertising if you have this business suit right you can also download this as an app do you know that you can schedule posts here right and this will help you to you know um manage your time you can schedule posts ahead of time and like that so i'll just click on this cancel so this is now the business suit okay this is what you need in order to be able to grow your business using meta ads all right so the next thing you want to do is to go to ad manager so we have ad manager here but before we go to ad manager I want to, you to click on all tools so once you click on all tools you'll be able to see the different things you can do here so you need to set up your billing this is where you add your um you know your credit card or debit card you know to be able to make payment and then we have the ads manager here all right so this is the ad manager so if i click on the ad manager it brought me here so you see this is how to create a simple facebook ads manager or a simple meta ads manager whichever way you want to call it and you see you say to help maintain the integrity of meta advertising please review and accept our non-discrimination policy okay that is fine you can just um read through the non-discrimination policy so review this policy all right and then click on accept so it said thanks for accepting our non-discrimination policy just click on done okay so here you will see that facebook is asking us the first thing they're asking us to do is to add payment method because obviously that is very important in order to run ads you will need to be able to add money in there so you can click on add payment method or if you go to settings all right you'll be able to see how to add the payment method as well so you see we have where you can add people for example if you want someone else to manage your ad uh, you can add the person there okay we have the pages that you want you know so there's no page fund here at the moment we have um, payment method so this is where you add your payment method okay so if you want to add payment method just click on this add and then here you're going to choose your country so in this case i will be choosing united kingdom and the currency is british pound sterling so i will leave it as that you can choose your your um, time zone as well but let's say you want to change it to 
your another location so for example if you have maybe maybe if you live in united states or you live in nigeria or any other country like that you can come here and choose it so for me i will just leave it as this and then i'll click on next so here it's going to ask you do you want to add a debit card or you want to add a uh, paypal so if you have a paper click on this and click on next but what i want to use at the moment even though i have paper but i want to use a debit card so i'll click on next so once you click on next here is where you now fill your credit card details or your debit card details so i'm going to fill out a card detail here now so i just confirmed that i own the card and i give facebook the authorization to use my card so that is it you just click on done and i have now added my card you see it's quite easy so once you have your payment method added okay the next thing for you to do is to verify the website that you want to be using for your advert and to do that i'm going to show you in the next video see you in the next video